see the last topic which we going to deal with is your last topic of sexual reproduction of plant one is your apomixis so we will be talking about apomixis what is apomixis and one is your polyamorous condition so if you are talking about apomixis what is apomixis it is the formation of seed through a sexual reproduction now see this is very important from the point of industrial uses see whenever a scientist develop a new particular variety of a seed it give it to farmers okay and when it give it to farmers what usually happens is after 2 to 3 years the farmers start complaining that the quality of the seed has been decreased the reason of this is that the particular seed undergo sexual reproduction the particular plant undergo sexual reproduction and get variations and because of the variation what will happen the property will change so this particular scientists or the industry peoples have to reprovide the seed and if they are also performing sexual reproduction then they will also get variation so they produce seed by the process known as apomixis now this apomixis can be performed by two different types one is known as adventive another is called recurrent now let us see what is adventive so for example you have nucellus okay nucellus is a diploid cell if you are directly converting some cell of nucellus okay some cell of nucellus into embryo so see nucellus was diploid embryo is diploid we have direct conversion then this is known as adventive embryo okay which is formed by apomixis now the example of this one is your citrus you get examples like mangifera here which can be seen now when we are talking about recurrent what do we do we take a diploid cell okay so we can repro represent a diploid cell by sporophyte we convert this sporophyte into gametophyte and this gametophyte into a embryo so embryo is basically diploid so you can also write sporophyte now this is also the basic process of sexual reproduction can formation of gametes gametes fuse to give embryo what is the difference whenever in a normal cell a sporophyte form a gamete it undergo meiosis so the condition is simple without meiosis because we know meiosis is the main reason for the variation and if we are talking about without meiosis so if this is diploid obviously the gametophyte will be diploid so it have to produce a diploid gametophyte so there should be no fusion so without fertilization so this process should take without meiosis and without fertilization so formation of a gametophyte without meiosis is known as apospore what do we call it we call it apospore and the formation of your particular embryo without fertilization is known as apogamy and see if you see the name obvious thing is that you will think sporophyte when converted to gametophyte is called apogamy no it is opposite the gamy word is basically derived from the word known as syngamy not your particular gametophyte is it clear see here. the next condition which we are going to talk about is poly embryony condition now whenever we talk about poly embryony condition what is poly embryony condition it is the formation of it is the formation of more than one embryo inside the seed now one of the common example if we are talking about is something which we have just seen the adventive embryo 
Now, if we see, talk about adventive embryo, one embryo will form from zygote. <coughs> I'm sorry. One embryo will be formed by the zygote. As well as in adventive embryo, what we have seen, the nucellus was also forming the embryo. So, what do we say here is, we have two different embryo in case of citrus and in case of mangifera. So, this is also a condition of polyembryony. Other condition which we see is cleavage polyembryony. What is cleavage polyembryony? So, we will see that for example, we have this zygote. This zygote will undergo mitosis to form two zygotes. And this will form us two embryo. So, if this is taking place, what do we call it? We call it a cleavage polyembryonic condition. Example, if we are talking about, we see the example of nicotina. Nico, I'm sorry, nicotina. It's called nicotina. Okay. The next thing which we will want to see here as an example here is different structures which can form embryo. For example, synergid also form embryo. Obviously, the new embryo, one will be diploid, one will be haploid. This is seen in case of Sagittaria. We also see antipodal cells which forms embryo. If we are talking about antipodal cell forming embryo, we have example as Ulmus. We also have something known as the particular endosperm which is forming embryo. So here we see the example of Balanophora. So these are the cells which can also form embryo along with the normal embryo which is formed by the zygote. So this is the condition which we call polyembryony. Now polyembryony we have seen one important example which was gymnosperm. So this all are examples of your particular angiosperm. At the same time all gymnosperm shows polyembryony condition. So this is one of the important example when it comes to polyembryony. Clear over?